Okay, so I know many of you probably came into this video and you're looking at the hat and you're like, Chibi, it's not Christmas anymore, okay? I know, I know, I know, I, I know, I know it's not Christmas. And the reason why I'm uh, wearing this is because it's cold. Like, it's legit cold. Like, I can see my breath right now. I don't know if you can make it out with the camera. I don't know if it'll pick it up, but I can see my breath. And it's, it's cold. And as I said, there's, there's newspaper insulation, basically. Like, it, it actually legit is newspaper insulation. And so, it's cold. My hands are numb and all that, and uh, I just got home. Um, I was out, like, majority of the day, actually, after I uploaded Doki Doki. I uh, went out to eat and all that, spend time with my dad, and take out my brother as well. We went out to go eat at Golden Corral. Pretty fun. Had a lot of fun. Got to spend time with him and all that. Just got back, and I found out that the new chapter of The Seven Deadly Sins, chapter 248, is out. But before I talk about before I do a live reaction, yes, I'm doing a live reaction. If you hear my heater... Well, I'm sorry. You, you're gonna have to put up with it. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't normally like to have sounds in the background like my fan, AC, heater. I don't like it usually because I know how it is. When you're trying to watch a video, you don't want to hear something like that. But it's cold. Like I said, it's cold. I, I got two long sleeves on, my jacket, this on, just because I'm cold. So, yeah. If you hear the heater, forgive me. Okay? It's about like 30 or 20 degrees in here. Okay? So, forgive me. Anyways, let us begin the live reaction of the Seven Deadly Sins. Yes, I'm doing a live reaction this week. The reason why is because I did promise I wanted to end off 2017 of Ty's Eye with a live reaction. And I did live react to the last chapters that came out because we had a double chapter. And I live reacted. They were very good chapters, by the way. But um, since we have a chapter, apparently, coming out on the 26th of December, I'm like, you know what? I know for a fact this is the final chapter of the year. So, you know what? I want to... I want a live react. I'll do a live reaction to it. So, here I am. And I've also been told to live react as well. I went to Twitter real quick and many told me, like, Chibi, you need, you need to live react to this chapter. Like, it's really good. Like, in the year off star. So, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll live react. So, uh, let's begin. Pull up the chapter if you want to, you know, read it alongside me. So, anyways, let's start. The Seven Deadly Sins, Chapter 248, Our Choices. Okay. Uh, cover page from MS. Okay. Uh... Such failure, such disgrace. Oh, it's Kuzak. Okay, to be unable to protect Lord Zeldris at a time like that, I'm hardly even fit to call myself his master. Couldn't even face him again. Le uh, left? Leave? Leave alone? See him? Wait, whoa, oh, wait, am I derping right now? I couldn't even face him again. Leave alone? Okay, that translation. MS, please. MS, please. Please. Please, MS. Please. Please, MS. The, the translation is... It's killing me. Okay, I, I thankfully get free translations. Don't get me wrong, but please, kill me. Okay, uh, face again. Let alone see him off before you left. This pain, this sadness within me. Oh, man, he breaking, he, man, he breaking the freaking uh, wall like it's nothing. He really angry. That man's kind of tilted. Okay, well then, while he's gone, I guess you better get yourself into shape. Isn't that right, napping demon? Oh, man, he just broke that wall in just straight anger. This is all your students' fault, pacifier demon. Well, what could Meliodas have said to him to suddenly change his mind like that? Well, as I said in my live reaction, it's obvious that most likely Meliodas mentioned, you know, uh, Zeldris' girlfriend, the vampire, that Meliodas killed. He probably didn't fill him in on the detail that he probably killed his lover, but he probably said, like, he knows where she's at and he can unseal her. That most likely could be the case here. Hmm, this, this L is delicious. <laughs> That's fire team is just sitting there, okay, he's just sitting there drinking. Oh, Lord Zeldris, why, why would you do what he asked of you? Let's see. Um, excuse me, Master Kusak. I've gotten a little something I need to talk to you about. Make it quick. Pacifier, I'm going to be leaving my station for a bit. Oh, you're leaving? Her name's Peroni, right? Per Peronia? Peronia? I, I think it's Peronia. I think that's her name. Oh, you're leaving. Okay. What a weird guy. But truly, young Master Meliodas is the most worthy and most fitting to be the present Demon King. The problem, the only problem is that woman. Oh, he's talking about Elizabeth. Yeah, yeah, they, it's obvious. That's the whole point of this, the goal and objective, Ten Commandments and stuff. So he has an issue still with Elizabeth. Okay. Please, Meliodas, rethink this. You can't do this. You absolutely can't become Demon King. Okay. This is the only means I have left. Please understand, Elizabeth. I will break this curse no matter what it takes. That was the promise I made to you. 
Huh. But I'm scared of dying. R wait, but I'm... I'm scared of dying. Rather, what I'm scared of being reincarnated and forgetting all of my current memories. I'm scared of forgetting about Father, my older sister, about Hawk, Diane, Elaine, and about all of the Seven Deadly Sins. But the thing I'm most scared of is I might never see you again. Huh? What? Why wouldn't the... Don't they just want to both die? Or, or am I missing something here? If you break this curse, you might be able to save me, but I might also lose my memory. Besides, you of all people must know what would happen if you become Demon King, right? What, what, what's... The Demon King's power is great, which means I will most likely not be able to stay in this world. Britannia, any... What? Whoa, 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 what? Wait, whoa, 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 what? Which means I most likely will not be able to stay in this world. Huh? Then what would what would uh, the point would breaking this curse have? I don't want this. I don't want to live in a world without you. Don't need to worry about that. Well, okay, so well, well, let's backtrack real quick. Okay, let, let me process what I just read here. So, the Demon King, the Demon King's power is great, which means I most likely will not be able to stay in this world, Britannia, anymore. Wait, so from what I'm being told here. There's a limit to how much the world capacity can handle or something? So you're telling me that the Demon King's power is so great that he cannot be in this world? Is that why he's in purgatory? Is because he cannot manifest himself into the world? But then explain how Meliodas and Elizabeth were fighting him so long ago. Does that also mean that's where the Supreme Goddess is? The Supreme Goddess can't be in the world because she's so strong. Which means I'm most likely will not be able to. So, technically, in essence, he'll no longer be able to walk this plane of existence anymore. That's what I'm getting. My understanding here is that he will not be able to walk here. And that's why the Demon King is not there either. He's so powerful that he can't be there. Huh. That's interesting. That's really interesting. But let's go to the next page. Okay. Every time you reborn through your mother, the Supreme Goddess Curse, you will have your love for me imprinted into you. Wait, your mother? So it's officially confirmed that... Okay, so that is officially confirmed. Okay. Once the curse is broken, then all of those feelings will be wiped clean as well. So don't you, you so you don't need to worry. Is Meliodas implying that Elizabeth won't love him? Is that what he's implying here? Because she's been imprinted to love him every time she's... Well, yeah, his curse does mean that he will always meet up with Elizabeth, so... Huh. Are you seriously saying that? That though you love me, my feelings for you have been manufactured by someone else. If not, then it would be impossible, wouldn't it? For you to only love me every single time that you're reborn? Then why? Instead of trying to save me, you should have just let me be. After all, I'd just forget everything after I was born anyways. So then you could have just lived your life falling in love with someone else. I can't help it. What can't you help? Wait, he changed his robes. Oh, it normal Meliodas. Whether you, whatever you it is, whether you were a goddess or whether you were a princess of Leonis, I love all of you. Oh man, Meliodas. I know it for sure, too, that all 106 Elizabeths and me as the princess, Leonis, every time I fell in love with you through my own will. Oh, wow, 106 Elizabeth. Whoa, we're getting a lot of information this chat. Has that been revealed before? I don't think that has. Meliodas, there's still time. Why don't we try to figure out some other way with all the seven deadly sins? Oh, he's hugging her back. That's sweet. I've always loved you just so much that I could hardly even handle it. Every time I touched you like this, my heart would beat like crazy. I couldn't stop. Uh, I couldn't do anything to stop it. And yet now I feel. So that confirms he has no emotions. Everything has been stolen from him. 
So he doesn't even feel love anymore? For a so what's driving him? So please understand, Elizabeth. The only thing I have left is the promise. Oh. Hmm. So he has nothing. He has no emotions anymore. So the only thing that really drives him now is just a promise. That's kind of sad. That's really sad. That's really, really sad. Okay, that explains why he uh, split up the seven deadly sins if he really has no emotions. I see. In that case, I've got a plan as well. I'm going to work together with the seven deadly sins and use all my strength to stop you from becoming Demon King. Stop this foolishness. Let go of me. If hitting me will make you feel better, then hit me. Huh. Huh. It's obvious he still cares. I mean, he has to promise with her. There's like some lingering emotion there for him to allow something like that. It's weird. Whoa, that's a lot of, whoa, that's a lot of power from Elizabeth, she got it, she just, Elizabeth just, yo, what, she just smacked me, yo, yo, are you just gonna take that, okay, okay, I mean, she's the daughter of the supreme goddess, so, Okay. Okay. Man, he got hit hard. Just as much as you were trying to save me, I want to help you as well. Just hang on. I really do like Elizabeth. I, ju I, I just want to take a few moments to emphasize this re real quick that just happened. And also correct something. I, I, I made a mistake earlier. I just remembered, yes, it was already confirmed a while ago that Elizabeth was the daughter of the Supreme Goddess. I forgot about that. I I'm sorry, it's been a long day. It's been... Holiday season, a little bit busy and stuff, so forgive me about that. I I, I just remember, I want to correct that. I made an error earlier in this video. But um, anyways, to continue on, though, I just want to mention that uh, Elizabeth... Man, I love her development. I, I, I really like how different she is from the standard shonen female characters because uh, usually you have the shonen female characters that always need saving. They're always, you know, they can't do anything without the main male character. And I, I'm just so glad Elizabeth has shown that she's really strong. I mean, we've already seen her handle her own self, be able to take people down. I mean, when you really think about it, she was the reason why Hindi went down in the first place at the end of the first major arc. And then on top of that, we saw her fighting, like, the Ten Commandments and all that. She was, you know, talking to Archangels. I mean, she she ain't weak. I mean, we also saw her fighting the Supreme Goddess of Meliodas, so she's up there. She's really up there in terms of power, so I'm just really glad Nakaba Sensei has made Elizabeth not, like, a stereotypical female character. I mean, she has her obvious flaws. I mean, she is sometimes a damsel in distress, but, I mean, she's not as obvious and as bad as so many other female, you know, main characters of Shonen, so I just want to get props. Good job, Nakaba Sensei. I like that. I like seeing how she's standing up to Meliodas, Knocking him back and trying to help him out in her own way. Oh, yeah. Anyways, let's carry on. Oh, we're shifting over. Okay. This is bad. Really, really bad. Overhead. Okay. There's an incredible, incredibly magic. There's an incredibly magic. <sighs> MS, please. Okay. Coming closer from Camelot's direction. This one's magic is completely on a different level than the last one. Wait. Completely on a different level? Don't tell me it's Ch Chandler. Chandler. Let's see. Escanor. Transform. Transform. It's nighttime. I can't. Uh oh. So we can't count on Escanor. Settle down, everyone. I will go negotiate with him. Is it Estorosa? I would assume it'd be Estorosa. Negotiate how? When you have no idea who our opponent is in the first place or what trick they may have up their sleeve. They already looked well into who our enemy is and what they're after. It'd be pointless for them to keep co coming out here after us over and over again. Don't worry, I've got my own card to play. That's Scylla, so I, I'm going to assume that it's uh, Estorosa. Estorosa wants to take a man, so obviously he has his own goal on his side. We saw that, so I'm going to assume it's Estorosa that's there. 
That's, uh, silly, isn't it? What do you mean by a card? Ah, since it's you that's come this much, will, this will go much quicker. So, Zeldris? Merlin's gonna negotiate with Zeldris? What? Okay. Who are you? I've never seen your face before. Hmm. Well, that's upsetting. What about now? Zelda is a shark. It can't be. So, that Merlin that Meliodas mentioned was you. Saying a weird language. What just happened? The blessed daughter of the demon king and the... What? What? This woman's a complete rule breaker. The true identity of Merlin, who had been shrouded in mystery, is finally revealed. What? 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 Whoa, 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 what? Yo, yo, my, my, my mind. My, my, my mind just exploded. What? Whoa, whoa. The blessed daughter of the demon king in the supreme god. That explains why she calls Elizabeth Sissis now. That explains so much. But then that would mean that... Wouldn't that necessarily mean she is the daughter of the the Demon King? She would be related to Meliodas? So Meliodas is her half-brother? That means she would be related to Zeldris and... And Esther... What? So it wasn't just three, it was four. Three brothers in a sit. Boom! Just straight boom! Whoa! Whoa! What? And it's the supreme goddess? Like, okay, let's let just like I, I kind of feel bad for Merlin in a way. How how is Merlin, which is half supreme goddess, have a flat chest when the mother just just look at the mother right? You look at the panel. How does she? How is she an eternal lolly when she has a mother like that and a father? Oh. oh. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, anyways, anyways, okay. So. So, she's half-sister with Meliodas and Elizabeth. Wait, 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 wait. That means the Demon King and the Supreme Goddess were together. But then why would they go after Meliodas and Elizabeth for doing the exact... Why would they go after Meliodas and Elizabeth for when they already did the exact same thing? They had a child! And then, wait, 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 let me just, let me think about this, wait a minute. So if these two were together, and they had Merlin, is it, please tell me, please, please, please tell me. Not gonna say please, please don't, don't, don't be doing this to me, please don't. I, 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 I can't believe I'm thinking this, but are you telling me that it's there is a possibility that Meliodas could be the son of the Supreme Goddess as well? Could that be a thing? Could it potentially be a thing to where all of the brothers have are descendants of the Supreme Goddess and the Demon King? And if so, would that mean the entire Elizabeth and Meliodas, like, relationship is... You know where I'm going. Like, I don't... I have so many questions. I, I have so many questions right now. I just, like... This explains why Merlin is so broken. It explains a lot. It really does explain why she's broken. But... I, I'm going to assume that something happened to the town she was in. Remember that. So, 
I have so many questions. Like, her identity, she is the daughter of the Demon King and the Supreme Goddess. Okay. She's probably strong. Probably very strong. Like, stronger than we thought. Huh. Very interesting. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, wait, wait, why, why didn't Chandler... Why didn't Chandler recognize her then? Why didn't Chandler recognize... That's a good question. Why, why didn't Chandler know about Mer uh, Merlin then? If Zeldris automatically knew, then you think Chandler, which is older and wiser, obviously, he would know. Unless only the brothers know. Because it was top secret hidden. So many questions. I, I have legit so many questions right now. To be continued in chapter 249, Adil. Okay, I'm gonna end it there. I'm kind of confused. Like, what? Like, they're just like... Okay. I'll, I'll, there, there's one thing I will say, however. Escanor knows how to pick a woman. Okay, he, at the very least, he knows who is truly, like, top tier. Because she is up there. Like, she's... She's a, she's a blessed daughter of the Demon King and Supreme Goddess. So, I mean, Escanor chose the right one, but I still can't get over the fact she's a lolly. It's just like, hell. <laughs> I can't even get over that. But, um, I want to end it there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Sorry if you heard my, you know, heater on the side. It's cold. It's, it's really cold. And, uh, you all have a great day or not wherever you live. Happy holidays, because it's technically still holidays where other parts around the world. And, you know, New Year's hasn't passed yet. So, happy holidays. I love you guys. And, you know, uh, have fun. If you enjoy this video, you know, please, you know, subscribe. If you like it as well, you know, leave a like. Love you guys. Please be safe. Chibi out.